So there we go. End of September, Wiltshire Road Race League is finishing. What's next? I hear you cry well. Don't fear because you can still race because the Wiltshire Off-Road League gets started in a few weeks time. Now I know a lot of you enjoy your road running and we get a lot more numbers in the road race league than the off-road league but if you're not doing the off-road racing you're missing out on some fantastic beautifully stunning races uh, in Wiltshire. So what I'll do is I'll put a list of the races that are in the league up on the screen and I'll see if I can explain a little bit about each one because I've done most of them so I'll be able to tell you all the fantastic things you can do and get up to in this year's off-road league. Now, first race up in your calendar is in October and it is the White Horse Gallop, organized by Stampede Sports. Starts at Westbury, over here in West Wiltshire, and it's a seven mile-ish trial run along the bridle paths, starting at Leighton Recreation Center in Westbury, and then going up to the White Horse, where you get some fantastic views over Salisbury Plain, and then a nice downhill finish back to the Sports Centre again. It is, from my personal experience, the first half is all the up, uh, and then you get a nice flat bit at the top of the plain, and then the second half is all the down. The climb up to the White Horse, for those of you who've done it before, is very much a hands and knees scramble up there. Um, it's something that I really don't do in many other races that I can think of where it's a proper hands and knees scramble, but it's good fun. And when you get to the top, always good crowds at the top by the white horse. And then that's the climbing done. And then you loop around the top and then back down again. Um, always good fun. Stampy Sports always put on good races. There's normally a nice uh, medal or something that you get for finishing the runs as well. So one to check out and a good way to start your off-road season. Next up, you've got Avon Valley Runners Off-Road Race of the Year over the hills. It's a fantastic route that goes from the Tithe Barn in Bradford on Avon and goes out along the River Avon, through the woods, Avon Cliff, Freshford Way and loops around and comes back again. A mixture of grass, uh, woodland trails, which are always beautiful, a little bit of tarmac, um, running along the river, a bit of canal towpath, so a bit of everything. And it's a fantastic race, always very popular. Lots of numbers come and run it. Um, not too challenging. There's no stupidly big climbs, but there's enough of a challenge to keep you honest. If you've not done the over the hills before, but you've done the mob match, the Avon Valley mob match, it's that, but it's in reverse. So you may have run some of the route without even knowing it. Always big numbers and Avon Valley runners always give out a warm welcome to everybody who comes to run their races. Third race up in the league, and we're going down to Shruton for the Yarnbury Yomp. This is a 10K race again going out over Salisbury Plain. Lots of fields, trails, um, gravel track, a bit of uphill at the start and then downhill for the second half. Nothing too severe but again um, playful. The third year of running this race now. The first year we had really icy and slippy and crisp and in the second year we had torrential rain and massive puddles. So I've not done this race yet where the weather hasn't been completely different. Um, so this year, it'll be interesting to see what weather they throw at us. You never know with the sun at the moment, it could be 35 degrees and beautiful in, the, in November, but hey, <laughs> we shall see. I'm always uh, well-organized, well-stocked with like fruits and nibbles and sweets at the end when you finish the run as well. Very much uh, a beautiful, one of the newer races on the circuit, but go and check it out. Next up is a race I've not done before, uh, and it is the Riverbank Rollock, uh, organised by Thornbury Running Club. Now, let me read you what it says about the race. Um, a 9.6 mile Riverbank Rollock is a run on trails along bridle paths, fields and in woodland across streams. 
And of course, along the riverbank, 80% of the course is off-road and it's a January race, which means there'll be lots of mud on the route. Um, I can't tell you much more about it than that because I've never done it, but it's something new on the calendar. So it'll be a fresh experience for everybody. So there's no reason not to go and check this one out. Now, next up is a real brute of a run, but it is the Lung Buster. It starts at Broad Hinton, um, organized by Royal Whitton Bassett Hounds. Not for the faint heart, this one. Um, a couple of big climbs up Lung Buster Hill, and then some nice sections through the woods, and lots of sections um, that are quite high up looking over Swindon, around some fields. So it's definitely slightly one of the more challenging ones on the circuit i'd say at about 14 kilometers long definitely worth giving a go uh, if you want to if you want to really push yourself and have a go at kind of a tough off-road race next up we head to carl for the smart smasher and if you thought the lung buster was hilly this one is complete opposite this is pretty much 5k out and back along uh, the old cycle path between Carn and Chippenham. It is pretty much all on gravel track, compact track, out and back, with a little loop on um, a little field just to make up the distance at the beginning. Always popular again. Lovely people at Carn Smart who put it on. Always a warm welcome. So definitely one I advise for the people who are maybe a bit more uh, of a novice at off-road racing if you want to try something that's not too scary or daunting actually the smart smasher 10k flat um, and you can run stretch your legs on it and have a good time and then the last announced race race seven on the calendar is again another notorious one it is the terminator organized by pusey a running club and Starting over at Pusey, it is, again, about half marathon and not for the faint-hearted. A lot of climbing um, and descent on it. There's a river crossing or shoe wash, I think they call it, at the end. So yes, if you're feeling brave after the other races and you get to the end of the season and you really want to challenge yourself, the Terminator is definitely one of the more challenging ones, but really rewarding. Some fantastic views um, when you're out on the course, especially when you get high up. You can see for miles and miles and miles. So don't be scared of it. They're very friendly and helpful and there's all abilities go and do the run, but it is definitely one of the more challenging ones, the Terminator. And race eight, they've not announced yet. So to be decided, um, I'm sure as soon as they know what they're going to do, they'll announce it on all the channels and they have a Facebook page. So look up Wiltshire Athletics on Facebook look them up on Google and you'll find the Wiltshire Athletics page that has all the information there as well. So hopefully some of my descriptions of some of the clips you've seen have tempted you to come and try the Wiltshire Off-Road League if you've never tried it before, or hopefully it welcome back people who have done it many years now. So I will see you out there on the trails. Happy runnings. See you soon.